Hello everyone, Joanne with StampingInTheValley.com and welcome to my craft room. So excited to craft with you guys this weekend. Um, I designed this card just a few minutes ago with this beautiful paper. I love this paper because it's monochromatic and then you have the garden green on one side and then you have your real red on the other. So this paper is the Toiled Tidings Designer Series paper. And there'll be a list below of um, all the supplies that I use and there'll be a Shop Now button right below. Now, if you order from me this month, here are the two free card kits. These are what I came up with for this month. And um, it's so simple to get these. You just place an order, become a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, or a downline of mine, and you receive free card kits every month. It's my gift from me to you. So they change every month, and these are the ones for this month. Um, there's a few things to go through. If you're a new customer of mine, I will send you an annual catalog and a holiday catalog and then some six by six sheets of designer series paper that is retired um, and just for you to start to craft with and then of course you'll get the two free card kits. Um, let's remember to get this paper pumpkin kit you have to subscribe before November 10th. This is 24 tags, four designs. We're going to have a lot of fun with this. It's supposed to coordinate with the one that we already just did. Um, but if, if you didn't get that one, you might want to sign up for this one. And remember, with Paper Pumpkin, you can suspend your subscription. You can jump on and off. Even if you just wanted to get that one, um, sign up and then cancel it the next month. But I think that's going to be fantastic, the 24 tags. Now, oh my goodness, guys, the trimmer. The pa Let me get my new trimmer. Okay, the trimmer is available. Now, the trimmer is available to you guys. Okay, the blades will come out at the first of the year from what I understand, but of course you get the two blades right here. Now, let me say this much. I have cut, like, I bet I've cut 300 pieces of paper if I've cut one in the past month. And that's normal for me because of all the card kits that I do. Um, and my blade is going strong. I love the blade. I'm not thrilled about the scoring. Um, you know, I'm just going to be honest. I'm not thrilled about the scoring blade. It could, it scores really well on DSP, but on the regular uh, thicker card stock, mm, you know, I'm really kind of having to push it. Um, that could be something. Here, the lock, I've talked about that before. Every time I close it, it locks. And, you know, sometimes, I mean, I'm wanting to open this constantly. Um, that, I'm kind of, I'm getting used to it, but I'm like, mm, you know, I could do without it locking every time. The other one had one where you could slide it and lock it when you wanted to. I love the numbers up here. We've got metric on the top and the... Um, US on the bottom here and it I don't even look at the metric ones it doesn't even phase me the arm goes out to 17 inches it's extremely light and um, then you have this hole up here if you want to hang it I of course keep mine on my desk because I use it constantly but it's $25 the number is 152392 okay I will um, pop that up on the screen for you um, if you would like to place that order then, uh, with me, of course, then you would receive the two free card kits. Now, if you are going to place an order and you are thinking about ordering the Snowman Season Bundle, this is a free card class from me to you for ordering the bundle from me. So you don't get any product with this. What you get is the um, tutorial. You get the class online. It's sent directly to your email. Um, you won't see this class on YouTube or um, Facebook or anything like that. But these are the four cards that I put together for the class. And I will... Uh, I have the dimensions and show you how to make every single one of these cards with the snowman season bundle so that's if you order this from me um, and it, you just you don't have to order the paper if you didn't want to order the paper I just set it up to where you just have to order the bundle of the stamp set and the punch the snowman punch and um, then you get all the dimensions to put 
these cards together. This is one of my favorite fancy fold ones is this gatefold with the belly band. I used that set up a lot and I thought that that was absolutely perfect to go with the snowman. So again, that is a free exclusive class if you order the bundle from me. Um, let's see, we went over that. Now I am designing my Happy Crafting Card Kit class. Let me give you a sneak peek. I'm right in the middle of it. I've got two of the cards done. Here is the first card. Isn't that beautiful? This is the first card, a little different design on that. And then, I, I just love these snowmen. This is my second card, a little fancy folding um, with the Happy Crafting Card Kit class. Isn't that pretty, the way that that opens just like that? That's just kind of fun. Okay, and so those are just two. I have, I have it up in my head. I'm designing the other two this afternoon, and that video will hopefully be up by Sunday. It should be up definitely by Sunday, if not by late um, tonight, Saturday night. So I just wanted to get on here and create a card with you, and um, I had made some cards for my downlines. We have a special um, Facebook page. Uh, well, let me back up just a minute. Well, I, t I talked about the Happy Crafting Card Kit class. That class, you get all of the material to put these cards together. And this class, there's a fee for this class of $25. You get the exclusive video and you get the product. Okay, so I've got like a couple of three specials going on. The free card kits, when you place an order, become Paper Pumpkin or a downline of mine. Then I've got the Snowman Season Bundle. That's the free card class. No product is sent to your um, to you at home, okay? You just get the class and then you can create those cards, those four cards. And then I have my Happy Crafting Card Kit class. There is a fee for that. It is $25. You get the exclusive video and the um, product is sent to you, okay? So, and if you guys have any questions, just email me at joannemaddie at outlook.com. I'll be happy to answer any and all of your questions. It's always happy crafting. So, back to this. Okay, so uh, my downlines and I have a um, special Facebook page. And um, I used this bell right here to do a card with them, and I absolutely fell in love with it. As you can see, I have embossed it in gold. I wrapped my card like a present. I used um, the very vanilla with this card. So I used the two every season is where that Merry Christmas comes from. Then I used from the bells are ringing. I use this bell and this sprig right here. But for the card that we're going to do, I'm going to use the bell and the bow. Because what we are going to do is flip this over where I did the garden green. We're just going to flip it over and do the real red. So just the same card, just um, a different variation. And I'm going to try to use this um, roused ribbon right here to wrap it like a present. I think that is going to look so pretty. Um, this one I used the double stitched, the green double stitched on there and it came out beautiful. Very happy with that. And I'm going to use um, the Toil and Tidings glitter enamel dots, but this time we'll use the red ones. So isn't it nice that, of course, that Stampin' Up! provides every bit of um, I don't know. You don't have to think about anything. Everything is color coordinated. It just helps me. So here I'm using my gold embossing powder and we will use some Versamark and the embossing buddy. I put my embossing buddy on my Versamark because guys, I have to admit, I am really bad about forgetting to use it. Okay, I'm going, we have photopolymer stamps, so I'm going to move in my pad, my um, uh, piercing mat. And like I said, there's a list below of everything that I have used with this. This is my very vanilla, and I cut that out with a square stitched framelit. And then I, this is real red, and it is a square, the layering square. So I'm kind of making this like a postage stamp. I have two layers right here of DSP. Each of them, or two pieces of DSP, not layers, but they will become layers. <laughs> um, and this is of the DSP, so it's one and seven eighths by five. Each piece is one and seven eighths by five. Then I have my real red here. This is my first layer, and it's five and a quarter by four. My base is our um, very vanilla. 
11 by 4 and a quarter scored at 5 and a half. I have two pieces for the inside. This one is real red at 5 by 3 and 3 quarter, and this one is very vanilla at 4 and 3 quarter by 3 and a half. Let's go ahead and, and then we have a nice, very vanilla envelope. Let's go ahead and create the inside of our card. So I'm going to use this sentiment that's in the bells are ringing, and I'm going to use my real red ink and just ink that up. Get this as squared up as we can. All right. Let's see, that is a little crooked, right? And down. Let's go ahead and use the other side and see if we can't do a little bit better job on that. Sometimes you get side two and then sometimes you don't. Okay, let me try right here. And this too is because I'm behind the camera, so that's a little bit better. So I'm not right over top of it. Now we're going to use our bow. And the other one, I used the little sprig. Oh, isn't that a cute bow? So pretty. That is just beautiful. I'm just going to leave that like that. I wasn't sure if I was going to color it in or not, um, the, the bow, but I'm, I'm okay with that. I like that. Okay, so now we're going to take our real red, and we're going to attach this piece with some snail, because there's no embossing. And then we have the inside of our card finished. So pretty. Now we're going to attach this to the inside of our very vanilla card base. Whoops. That was the envelope. <laughs> Here's the base. Just going to flip that up and bring this in here and you can see how nicely that real red just really frames out the inside of that card just adding that one layer right there just really makes it look nice okay so now um, let me go ahead and bring our envelope in and quickly do my bow on my envelope such a nice pretty bow Boy, now I would like to do that in um, Tuxedo Memento Black Ink and then color that in. But, um, yeah, we'll just do the real red for right now on this one. But, the, yeah, I didn't realize that bow was that beautiful. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to close this because inevitably I will get my fingers in it. Let's make our beautiful bell. So I have this stitched right here, the square. I'm going to take my embossing buddy and rub it over this square. That takes off any of the oils from your fingers or anything like that so that you get a nice um, stamp with the Versamark. Versamark is a clear sticky ink that is great for embossing. So I'm going to put my bell over here toward the side. Here we go. And it's clear and it stays wet so it gives you time to work with it. Close that up. Let me get my gold embossing powder. Um, people have asked before where I get these little containers and they're in the Walmart section, um, the um, stationery section at Walmart and they are actually to hold crayons. These are little ice cream spoons. Now this is gold embossing powder. I'm going to Put that right over there and get my beautiful bell image. Gorgeous. Right there. Tap that off. Now if there was anything there, now because I use the embossing buddy, there's absolutely no um, sprinkles. Here in this card, I forgot to use my embossing buddy and I have just a few sprinkles here and up here, but I'm okay with that. But this is perfect. This is perfect because I use the embossing buddy. So let me put that down. You get a little bit more on the handle there. Okay. Okay. Tap that off. These are the teeniest, tiniest, littlest command hooks that I hook that in the lid and that keeps your spoon clean. Now I'm going to take my heat tool 
and my bell right here. Let me go ahead and hold this down. I'm going to get it nice and hot and then get over here and let it warm up. And this bell is going to become beautiful, guys. This gold, just it melts, it shines. What a cool effect. Just gorgeous. It's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. It's perfect. Absolutely. Look at that. Uh, that really made that bell. When I made this, I, I wasn't sure, um, you know, how it was really going to turn out with the, when I started to emboss. But the more that I did it, I love the little leaves are so defined and everything. Just wonderful. So I'm using going to use Dark Daffodil Delight, Dark Old Olive, and Dark Cherry Cobbler. I'm going to put the Dark Daffodil Delight right here in this slot by the bell handle. Then my um, holly leaves right here. I'm going to use the darker and it's so nice because the embossing that you just did almost gives like the ink a um, what could I say? A um, it holds it in, like it gives it edges, and it just kind of holds your ink in. So I'm really enjoying that, especially now that I'm using the dark cherry cobbler here because this dark red, whew, it, when it runs, it runs. Okay, and that is absolutely perfect, guys. Look at our pretty bell. Of course, you could color this. I thought I just wanted to leave it the way it was. I just love the way it came out. Now I'm going to open back up my real red and put my Merry Christmas there. And like I said, this came from the um, To Every Season. I like that Merry Christmas. I like the font the way it is. Beautiful. Now, we're going to go ahead and, um, let's move this aside, bring our square in. <clears throat> Make this look almost like a postage stamp, you know, like letters to Santa or something like that. So, we're going to make this square here. So pretty. Yes, this afternoon, what I'm going to be doing is, um designing the two other cards for my Happy Crafting Card Kit class. Now I've got the base here and I've got my real red and again this real red is five and a quarter by four. I'm going to take my two pieces here and I'm going to layer them right there. Butt them up against each other leaving a little bit of my border here. So each of these pieces is one and seven eighths by five. One and seven eighths by five. And isn't it nice, it, you know, with this paper being monochromatic, you could just flip it over and get a whole new look. I think that's fantastic. So what I do is like the one that's free. Okay, freestanding. I kind of hold it where I know that I kind of need it. Then I bring this one in. And I just kind of wiggle it around the best I can. I just eyeball it really guys. Just so that I get a nice edge over here. Good. And now we'll do this side. And now this can just butt right up against here. Just make sure you have your top and your bottom good and you have a nice background right there. And I just used the flip side of the paper. Isn't that beautiful? See? Just used for each of them. I used two pieces of paper, very simple, and then just flipped them. <laughs> that is fantastic. What a great way to use your DSP. Okay, now what I want to do is in the middle of four places right here, top and bottom and both sides, I'm putting my snail. Let me get a scissor, and I'm going to take my ribbon, 
and let me just eyeball that I don't like to measure if I don't have to measure I don't it's like oh yeah that's good so, <laughs> so I'm gonna come across here and I'm what I'm doing is wrapping this card front like it would be a present just like that okay now we're gonna come this way and here's good you know, you don't need to wrap your ribbon all the way around. This is a good way to save ribbon when you just cut it off like that. Oh, this is going to look beautiful. A little bit too much up there. Okay, put that in there. And that right there. Isn't that adorable? We've wrapped our card. <laughs> so now's the time to move everything around, you know, and get it like crisscrossing where you want it and how you want it to look. And I'm happy with this am I happy with that I don't know wait I need to come over just a smidge yeah now I'm more happy <laughs> okay now we can go ahead and flip this and we can add our snail just go right over top of your ribbon holding that ribbon down. Now I'm going to bring my card base in. Notice I keep flipping this up to make sure that I didn't accidentally spin it around and then put something on and I've done that. I'm right at the end of a project and I do something irreversible upside down and you have to start from scratch. So that's beautiful right there. Okay now we're going to even make this better. Oh, that makes it. Our gold bell absolutely makes our card right there now see how the ribbon is here I want you to put your dimensionals here in the four corners not 12 o'clock 6 o'clock like 3 and 9 okay I want you to put the dimensionals in the corners because you don't want to overload the ribbon you know and then really this won't stick because you'll be on the ribbon. Now with the dimensionals, as you can see, I'm putting a corner in the corner so that <clears throat> my dimensional stays away from the ribbon the best that I can. And I thought about using a half a one, but I thought also with that thick of ribbon, I needed a whole dimensional. So like, look at this card base. Okay right it's okay but this oh, our bell that bell adds it I mean the bell I love this isn't that gorgeous <coughs> excuse me and we're just going to place it right here oh ah I love it oh I'm so happy to craft with you guys on the weekends oh and I cannot wait until I will be able to eventually craft with you guys during the week every day I'm going to add these enamel dots. They are beautiful. I'm using the smallest size. Um, and I'm just cascading them down through the card here. And there is our real red card. Let's take a look at that with our bow. And here's our green, garden green card with our sprig. All right. I think they're both beautiful. I really do. I think they both came out wonderfully. I'm leaning more toward the red because of this ribbon. I don't know. What do you guys think? Comment. What do you like better? The red or the green? They're both pretty. I'm kind of leaning toward this because this thicker ribbon really and the red and the gold. I like the green and the gold. I'm not saying that it's that it's bad, but if I was to have it like to make a lot of these, I think I would start making with the red. Leave a comment for me. Thank you so much for dropping by and crafting with me this weekend. Um, I'll have another video up about my Happy Crafting Card Kit class, hopefully today, um, if not on Sunday. And please uh, go over to my Facebook on Sunday evenings at 7 o'clock. I do a live broadcast there. We craft a little bit. Um, on Sunday evenings and the link for that also is below. So thanks again for watching guys and happy crafting!